What's up, Just Prince TV? All right, blazing hip hop and politic talk, and I want to go to politic talk a little bit. Okay, you got China Mac and Charleston White, right? China Mac is a hip hop artist that happens to be Asian. He says the N word. He talks like me. He walks like me a little bit, and he comes from the type of environments that I come from. All right, Charleston White is a brother that's criticizing him and saying, hey, Asians shouldn't say that. Asians shouldn't act or adapt to that. Okay, this is a 50-50 situation. It comes down to what do you consider being hood or gangster or whatever that culture applies to, okay? Here's the problem. I'm rocking with China Mac because I think Charleston White is 100% wrong on this because what you are doing, you're basically disgracing all the work that Malcolm X, Martin Luther King Jr., and every other black stood for. We as black people do not want to be labeled as gangsters and dogs and drug dealers, okay? That's one aspect, okay, to being black, okay? But here's the thing, that shouldn't be our defining answer, you shouldn't put me in a box and say I got to be a gangster or anything else, a thug, you know, a hoodlum. I, that's, that's the only thing I could be? That's the only thing I could strive to be for? That's the only thing you're going to label me as if you got guys like Charleston White saying, hey, nobody else should adapt to this culture. Being from the streets didn't start with black people, Charleston White. If that was the case, why you got Italian mobsters? Why you got Yakuza's? Why you got all these other crime syndicates? I, I forget the names of all of them. There's so much of them. You know, the, in my wife's country in the Philippines, that she calls it the, um, um, I forget the word for fraternity. All right? Here's the thing. Asian people aren't all classified as gangsters and thugs. There's some that are. Then there's some that's hardworking people. Italian people aren't classified as all mobsters, gangsters, and thugs. Some of them are hardworking people, all right? But black people, we get pined into a box to the fact that we get stereotyped so much that we're not allowed to be smart. We're not allowed to think outside the box. We're not allowed to strive to be a doctor or a lawyer because from the minute we're born, you looking at us as just being as some type of gangsters or some drug dealers. And it's guys like Carson, that Charleston White, you hurting the black community because there's a lot of black people that don't want to be labeled as that. There's a lot of black men that want to take care of their kids. There's a lot of black men that work jobs nine to five. And you're making it hard for them because you're putting them into a buying box. You know? Yes, there's a lot of racism amongst Asians towards blacks. You know, some of them treat blacks a little different or whatever the case may be, but that's not just Asians, that's every race. You know why? It's because we're put in a pine box. You don't look at every Mexican and say every Mexican is um, a part of the cartel, you know, the drug cartel, right? You don't look at every Mexican and say they're a gangbanger. There's some hardworking Mexicans out there that don't live that lifestyle. But the thing is, they got diversity. They allowed to be a gangster or a good person. They got choices. But you blew it. For us black people, you're labeling us as criminals. Really, nigga? Re Nothing else. Being from the hood shouldn't just be black culture. That's culture from anybody that come from that neighborhood. I grew up with Asian people. I, one of my best friends was a Chinese guy that said the N-word, that listened to rap music. I grew up with Italians that, that listened to rap music, that was hood and gangster. More gangster than some black people. All right. Stop labeling black people as just being gangsters and thugs and all this other stuff just because rap music is around. Rap music is a, at the end of the day is still a form of entertainment, man. It's music, okay? That shouldn't define every single black person. There's some black people that don't even use the N word. There's some black people that never lived in all black communities. That don't mean they're Uncle Toms. That don't mean they're sellouts. You know? They march to a different beat. 
Just like there's some Asians that march to a different beat. There's some Asians right here in California, you know, in Long Beach, LA, that listen to rap music, wear do rags, fitted hats, say the N word, you know, being hood, being street. But they don't justify and speak for every Asian. They only speak for themselves. That's what we need to overcome as black people. Because not all of us want to be put in the pine box when you judge us all the same. This is what leads to stereotyping and racism. There has to be diversity and differency because it's diversity in other races, but why is there not diversity in the black community? Just Prince TV out. Peace.